No, that's not a serial killer's mugshot. That's my university ID picture from four years ago. A year later, I would leave university and begin to follow God's calling on my life and pursue Christian content creation. As I started putting out pieces of content online, God began to lay something on my heart. For years, I'd seen the disconnection that can happen between fathers and sons. A relational gap can form in the teen years and often is never repaired. Fathers desire to reach out and bridge the gap, but they just don't know what their sons need or want from them. I was having a passionate conversation conversation about this with my dad and the next step kind of became really clear. Write a book. But hold up for a second, why would God want a dyslexic kid who couldn't read till he was 11 to write this book about building father-son relationships? It's the reason that God asks any of us broken people to carry out his mission because in the midst of our weakness, he is strong. So at 19 years old, I decided to start writing. This was around the time that my mom was going through cancer treatments. So I would help take care of my siblings part of the day and would write the other part of the day. I'm on my way to McDonald's to get some writing done. I usually do most of the writing, my writing at home. I get a little antsy at home sometimes when I've been writing a long time, not as productive as I could be. So I'm gonna head to McDonald's. I just finished the manuscript, but my fear was getting a hold of me. I hid the manuscript deep in the drawer in my desk just to collect dust. I left it there for weeks. But one day, God just made it clear to me that I was being ruled by my fear. And at that moment, it all became clear. It wasn't about writing a best-selling book. It was about taking a step of faith to trust God that he would use this in the lives of fathers and sons. Two years later, and here it is. A letter to my father, what your son wants to tell you but doesn't. This book verbal the doubts, struggles, and questions that young men have and engage with fathers to make a meaningful impact in their sons' lives. I tell stories about my relationship with my dad and engage with spiritual truths throughout the book. While this book is directed at fathers and sons, I've also had mothers and daughters say that they've been greatly impacted by the book as well. Growing in these relationships isn't easy, but it's so worth it. To pick up a book today for yourself or for your dad or for your friend, head on over to dailydisciple.ca book or the link in my bio. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope you're blessed by this book.